Hello there, my Capricorn Collective. I hope you're having a fantastic day. What's up with your energy? Capricorn, Capricorn, Capricorn. Ooh. Travel? Message from afar? What's up with you, Capricorn? What's going on with your energy? Page of Wands. Four of Wands, King of Cups, Ten of Swords, Ace of Swords. Ooh, the Creator energy. This work related with you. Two of Cups, the Emperor energy. The Seven of Wands. Ooh, and the Moon card. Damn, you're attracting a lot of attention, uh, Capricorn. My, oh my. <sighs> there could be a water sign energy around you. Mm. Oh, look at this. Three of Swords energy. Heartbreak Hotel. Someone like uh, Elvis Presley. There's like a switch up in energy with you. So you could be dealing with family here, Capricorn. Some of you, this could be a romantic relationship or partnership. Uh, those of you that have uh, gotten out of relationships or partnerships, right? You're getting this whole sort of new vibe going. It's a new energy with you. Uh, Capricorn, especially if you've got Pisces uh, anywhere in your chart. Uh, rising Moon or Venus. Ooh, what's this energy about, though? Three of Swords, Two of Pentacles with the Four of Swords. Oh, Capricorn, I don't feel like you're really touching on anything sort of emotional right now. You're just sort of filling yourself here. This Creator energy <laughs> and this King of Cups energy. <laughs> Oh, so keep doing the shadow work, Capricorn. Damn. For those of you Capricorns who are newly single, who are, uh, maybe you're just casually dating, right? Oh, there's a switch up energy in here. Someone could be looking at you for a more sort of substantial relationship or partnership, but you're just not feeling it. You're not feeling it. Uh, there could be some sort of emotional type manipulation uh, with this energy. Uh, Capricorn, some of you, someone could, uh, just way too dramatic. You know what I mean, Capricorns? I'm loving your vibe you got going on here. This King of Cups and this Creator energy. You're looking at things differently, so you've definitely switched something up, which is calling in some really good energy with you. But you definitely have some healthy boundaries in place. Damn, that Ten of Wands energy. I'm burning, I'm burning, I'm burning for you. That uh, 80s song. Yeah, look at that. I forget who the fuck sings that song. Damn, but Capricorn, I don't feel like you feel the same way. I don't feel like that's your vibe at all. I think you're just over here loving yourself, giving to yourself. Uh, you're definitely in tune with your emotions. So, uh, damn, you're like feeling yourself. Yeah, you're attracting a lot of snake energy, too. So you're dealing with a lot of sort of cold-blooded people uh, that need you for your sort of warmth. And there's a lot of passionate energy uh, sort of exuding from you, Capricorn, right? I love this. There's, a, there's that sort of sexy sultriness to you. But, yeah, you attract a lot of cold-blooded energy. Someone needs you for your warmth. And attention, but that is <laughs> not what you're about, right? Ooh, sleeping single in a double bed. Toss and turn and trying to forget. Ooh, dang, you got some good energy going. Some of you could have a damn good playlist that you listen to. Ace of Wands, Three of Wands with the Ace of Pentacles. You are definitely very uh, focused. Damn, look at that. I don't think you're going to give in to anything that's uh, really overly emotional right now, uh, Capricorn. If you're dating, you're casually dating, right? Some of you could realize someone is just a little more intense than what that's what you're interested in, right? You could definitely be feeling sort of romantic. You're definitely, you're sending off this beautiful sort of warmth energy. But you're also attracting the sort of cold-blooded energies as well. Ooh, damn, look at that, Knight of Cups. So you're probably getting a lot of offers and opportunities now, Capricorn, right? Oh, look at that. 
Yeah, I think <laughs> you're attracting a lot of snake energy. My, oh my. But you get that with that sort of will of fortune. Uh, you like got it all going on here. I like that. But you got it going on for yourself. Damn, if you don't know you're worth Capricorn, somebody else sure the fuck knows. But damn, someone, it's, it's almost like someone wants to come in and sort of uh, uh, just benefit off of everything you have to offer, right? Because they can't create it themselves. So, damn, Capricorn, work, love, life energy on this. Those of you, the, the creative uh, Capricorn, those of you when it comes to your work energy as well, right? You get a lot of that sort of snake energy. People that can't produce the same sort of uh, energy that you do. I definitely feel like you're feeling yourself. You got a good vibe going on here. You could be really rather flirty uh, now, Capricorn. I do feel like you're single. I don't think a relationship or partnership is really what you're about. Those of you who are newly single, right? Someone could be trying to figure out who or what you're doing right now. And you're just so focused on this sort of pentacle energy, grounded and focused. Hmm. You're, you're radiating some really positive vibes. You're radiating some really positive vibes. Damn. Capricorn, I almost feel like that you sort of shed that old skin that you had. Uh, the snake energy with you, it's, it's a positive energy. I don't think there's a lot of fear here. But you also know those that can't sort of generate their own heat that try to come in and sort of uh, take over whatever you have going on here. And look, it got the lover's energy. My, oh my, a Capricorn. Uh, if it's not necessarily romantic with you, this is just good working relationships or partnerships or people who want to be in your energy. Damn Cappies. So, make smart choices. Equal and balanced energy here. I feel like you're really vibing in this this fucking power of positivity. Whatever the hell you got going on now, Capricorn, is absolutely fucking brilliant. Uh, you're generating a lot of sort of attention. You're, you're generating a lot of sort of heat, which is very attractive, right? Mm. Capricorn, it's like when someone stands behind you and they generate so much body heat, you can tell they're there without even looking, right? I feel like you sort of generate that heat. Capricorns, I have to say, I don't feel like it's really romantic energy with you. If you're dating, you're very casually dating. Especially those of you that just got out of a relationship or partnership. Some of you are definitely sleeping single. Uh, this isn't about uh, this isn't about love with you. You're definitely aware of those that need that sort of attention from you. But you're all about this balanced energy. Some of you could be taking up yoga. You could be trying to uh, uh, implement some different sort of holistic uh, work with what you're doing. I don't know. You know that you're the one that sort of brings the heat, right? You got it. You got it. But you attract a lot of that sort of snake ass energy. Just people that can't generate that on their own. So they sort of expect that from a partner. Some of you, someone is just way too, too much of an emotional sort of energy. You know what I mean? So if you're casually dating, that could rule out somebody because they're looking for far more than what you're even interested in, right? If you're dating, I feel like you're very casually dating. You know you have offers. You know you have options. Uh, when it comes to work with you too. Capricorns, for a lot of you, yeah, with this Ace of Cups energy, you get an opportunity from another opportunity. You're so focused on this, like, uh, good sort of uh, beginning type energy. I don't think the stagnant is going to work with you. Now that's Six of Wands. You're very forward thinking now, too. If you have strong uh, Pisces placement or Scorpio placement, Capricorn, you're really feeling this sort of switch up. Some of you with the... Uh, uh, the Virgo boon that we had. Was it Virgo? Yeah. Uh, you're like doing your own thing. Everyone wants a part of your sort of energy. Your vibe right now is absolutely beautiful. So you attract that sort of snake energy. People that need that warmth, the excitement. Man, you're definitely standing out. 
But it's your attention to detail, and you're very forward-thinking, too. So, Capricorn, definitely trusting your intuition when it comes to relationships or partnerships, both romantic and business energy with you. You got that vibe. You got this awesome energy around you. You got this awesome energy around you. But you do attract those that can't sort of generate uh, their own sort of thoughts and ideals. You know what I mean, Capricorn? So if you're the, the one that gets the, the sort of job done, right? You're the one that's got the inspiration, right? You got a lot of slacker energy around you or straggler energy. Capricorn, some of you have could have chosen to sort of go off and do your own thing. I feel there's like a little diversion energy with you that is really, uh, it's got some potential. So there could be a side project that you're working on or something else that sort of interests you. I definitely feel like you are far more focused on you than you are uh, anything or anyone else. So you're making decisions that are six of pentacles. They're balanced and focused. And Capricorn. There's not fear energy, though, Capricorn. That's the thing. Um, you're in like a good energy space. Capricorn, it almost feels like you were that snake that shed the skin, right? So you're trusting your instincts here. You're trusting your instincts here. The snake isn't a negative energy, right? It just can't create its own warmth. So, you know, it's always uh, looking for heat. Uh, Capricorn, a lot of people around you are looking for that sort of excitement that you bring. But depending upon what you do for work, uh, Capricorn, some of you could be used to that. Especially this vibe that you're creating in right now. Man, oh man. Twenty-two, speak your truth. Yeah, there's that sort of transformation energy with you. Damn, Capricorn, look at that beautiful energy. Look at that beautiful energy with you. Capricorn, you could get the chance to do some public speaking. Some of you, this could be a, a job opportunity. Uh, some of you, this could be interviews, right? You could be taking interviews. You could be uh, giving interviews. There is a sort of diversion energy with you. Uh, so you got a lot of sort of things going on, right? But you don't have the candle lit at both ends. So this is like an opportunity that comes from another opportunity. But it could be just as uh, uh, interesting for you. I feel like you're the creative energy. And everyone wants to sort of get in there, get a part of that sort of energy. You probably notice people stand uh, a little closer to you. There's whatever vibration you got going on, Capricorn, I love it. And you're definitely well aware of uh, the energies around you. I do feel like a lot of you aren't really focused on romance. If you're dating, you're very casually dating. Uh, some of you are avoiding anyone that might be a little too emotionally clingy or needy. That's not what you're about. There's this level of independence that you want and need around you right now. You like that. Some of you are getting used to that. But you're also getting used to that sort of uh, everyone wanting to come to you for this sort of inspiration. The heat, the vibe that you're giving off. Is absolutely beautiful. There's a lot of unknown energy. So Capricorn, I don't feel like you're really speaking a whole lot on what it is you are doing, what it is you want, what it is you're working on. If you're dating, you're not really uh, talking about that. Whatever you got going on, you're definitely keeping it to yourself. For some of you, that's what adds to this sort of uh, uh, interest in you. That sort of always keep them guessing type energy. Some of you could definitely be doing some speaking. Damn, 
Capricorn. Look at that campfire circle. Create deep and magical connections, relationship, bonding, and community. Yeah, look at that. Everyone comes to you for this sort of warmth energy, uh, Capricorn. It is like the cold-blooded energies trying to get around there to get some heat. Because I definitely feel like you're bringing that. You are definitely bringing that. Damn, look at that. Creator, the Will of Fortune, and there's that King of Cups energy. I don't think this has shit to do with relationships, though. This is just sort of the vibe that you're in. This is just that vibe that you're in. Damn, Capricorn. Ooh. What else on this for you, Capricorn? This is your energy. This is your energy, Capricorn. Take what's yours and leave what isn't, right? There's the tower and that sort of Knight of Cups energy. Whatever you speak, whatever you're sort of going through right now, Capricorn, there's this sort of passionate energy around it. So whatever projects you're working on, there's a that you got a passionate energy about you. That's why you sort of attract all this attention. Now's a good time for work opportunities with you. Get out there, right? Uh, keep doing the work. Some of you opportunities. So there could be like a little uh, excursion you take, a little side journey for you, Capricorn, that sparks some more interest with you. If you're into astrology or getting a little bit more focused into astrology or something like that, Capricorn, you could notice that sort of difference. Maybe some of you are paying attention to your moon nodes or your moon sign. Um, I don't know. It's a beautiful energy with you. But you are attracting a lot of cold-blooded energy, people that need that sort of warmth, right? So I definitely feel like you're very mindful of that. Yeah, and the hangman there with that sort of tower energy. Look at this with you. Look at this energy with you. Damn, oh, damn Cappies. Damn, oh, damn Capricorn. Mm-hmm. Page of Cups, Knight of Cups, King of uh, Pentacle energy right here. If this is relationships, Capricorn. You're sort of coming across as that passionate sort of energy. Some of you are just flirting a lot. I don't feel like you're focused on uh, any one sort of... Uh, opportunity you know what i mean if you're dating you're very casually dating some of you are just a big flirt right that's what it adds to uh this is a great salesman's energy this is a great uh speaker energy right you're able to really sort of uh catch everybody's attention everyone wants to sort of be around this energy you got going on I don't feel it's relationships, though, because that is not what you're focused on. If you're dating, it's very casually dating. Um, I don't think you want any sort of emotional connections, right? Especially if you just got out of a relationship or partnership, Capricorn. Some of you are just, damn, you just really enjoy what you're doing now. You're very charismatic, optimistic about it, right? You're very good at what you do. So it's a good opportunity work-wise. If it's relationships or partnerships, yeah, you're definitely getting a lot of attention if that's what you're interested in. Some of you, that's really not it. You probably flirt to get your sales up. You know what I mean? Damn. You're definitely in a vibe over here. You're feeling it. You're very passionate about something too. Damn, Capricorn. Take what's yours and leave what's not. I do feel you have very healthy boundaries in place. So you could come across as a flirt, but you're not really doing anything. Everyone sort of wants a part of you, though. They want a part of that sort of heat. This this sort of uh, excitement, this energy that you got going on. 
Mm -hmm. Some of you, now's a good time to take on classes or learn something new. So you could be upgrading yourself too, uh, taking courses. Some of you, public speaking, right? This is kind of a salesman's energy, but it doesn't have to be like a salesman's energy. Some of you just learning to sort of use your voice, use your words, um, because there's new opportunity with you. There's new opportunity. Some of you are going to take a little sort of excursion and try something new. You could be expanding uh, whatever it is you do. Some of you could be tapping into your creativity. Some of y'all, maybe you're going to take a, a, a lesson in comedy or something like that, right? Or do some public speaking. Uh, you're learning something new. You're very charismatic. So you definitely attract a lot of attention. You're very passionate about whatever the hell this is that you are doing or working on. Because there definitely is this pentacle energy around it. So whatever you're doing is, is based on tangible energy. But my, oh my. Stuck stagnant relationships, Capricorn, I don't think you're focusing on that. Uh, Capricorn, especially if you're newly single, some of you don't want anybody that's a little too emotionally invested, especially if you're just sort of casually dating. You know what I mean? Uh, be mindful of sort of a one night stand energy here too, uh, Capricorn, because you are coming across as very charismatic. Although I, I don't feel like that's sort of your focus, uh, Capricorn. If anything, you're playing more hard to get than really focusing on anything you know what i mean damn take what's yours and leave what isn't capricorn i love this energy for you do we want something else on top of this let's see what wants to come from this deck for you capricorn you could definitely be learning and growing some of you could be taking some classes on speaking or watching uh, videos or listening to podcasts or something like that. Uh, you're finding who you are. There is that sort of salesperson's energy with this, but it's just learning how to uh, sort of draw in a crowd, draw in that sort of attention, right? How to uh, uh, really speak about what you're passionate about. Some of you could definitely get the opportunity to. You could be traveling. This could be what you do for travel, some of you, that could be this sort of upgrade in energy with you. It's Hierophant. Whatever this energy is, it's an upgrade for you. This is good boss ass energy as well. Damn, some of you could be doing like a work retreat energy. Whatever you got going on, Capricorn, is just as much work as it is sort of life energy. But the emotional side of things, you're not really tapping into that energy. You're putting all that focus in uh, to yourself. So there's a lot of people probably wondering what it is you're doing, right? And you're just over here focused on you. It's good creative time. So take the classes. Uh, someone could be like comedy, uh, taking some comedy classes or some public speaking classes just to uh, get better at communicating. It's definitely boss up energy. So... Educate yourself, have fun, Capricorn. There's a very passionate energy within you that does attract a lot of attention. But it's a lot of people that sort of need that sort of warmth energy from you. So I feel like you're well aware of this. It's not a negative energy, um, Capricorn. You just attract the, the people that need that sort of inspiration. Capricorn, some of you realize that when it comes to relationships or partnerships. So that's probably why you're not dating. You're very... You don't want the wrong sort of energy to come across, right? If you flirt a lot, you flirt a lot. It's not because you're really interested in relationships or partnerships. Some of you, you don't do the sort of... Uh, uh, one night stand energy because people get too sort of attached to it, right? So I feel like you're definitely a single Capricorn. You're very mindful. You don't mix that sort of emotional energy 
with whatever this sort of uh, passion energy is. I don't even feel like this is a passion project for you. I think this is something that just really makes you feel good. It, you're really focused on it, right? You you speak from the heart uh, when you speak on it. Um, it's a great salesman's type energy. Some of you are learning to sell yourself so you can get your own sort of upgraded energy here. So if you're doing interviews, right? Uh, you're coming across very well. Some of you may be taking some speaking classes, so you can. Uh, if it's not even like speech classes, right? Some of you could just be maybe doing some interviews just to get a lot of experience in, so you feel more comfortable. Damn. Oh, you definitely got it going on. Everybody wants that sort of passionate energy you got. But I don't feel it's romantic. Some of you, do, you're not even focused on that. It's all about the pentacle energy here. Ooh. Take what George Capricorn leave. What the fuck is it? I love this vibe you got going on, though. I love this vibe. This is all about being very passionate and speaking on it and really getting sort of uh, uh, focused on it. So if you've got a new project at work that you're working on, right? Or there's an idea that you're trying to get across... Uh, you're going to be very good at it, especially if you take the classes, you learn and sort of understand and grow from this energy. There's an organic element with this, too. So Capricorn, some of you may do a little like a uh, retreat energy just to sort of get grounded and focused, right? Or get out there in nature and, and get grounded and focused. You're definitely grounded and focused. You're not caught up in your sort of emotions or feels. You're very mindful of that energy. But you tend to attract those that can't create their own warmth. So you know that. So if you are dating, you're very mindful of who you date. You attract the people that can't inspire themselves or create that warmth for themselves. Damn Capricorn. Some of you there could be like a retreat energy here with the Hierophant here and that uh, campfire circle. Some of you could be uh, looking at religion or philosophy a little different. Some of you, this could just be a getting back to nature type energy, right? Damn, you're really feeling yourself in this energy. You're really filling yourself in this energy. Take what yours, Capricorn. Leave what the fuck isn't, right? Like, share, subscribe. Ring the bell, Capricorn. Ooh. Take the classes. Some of you, take the classes. Uh, if you don't feel like you're a very good sort of uh, interviewer, interviewee, uh, Capricorn, some of y'all, you just need practice. I do feel like you're learning to speak better. You're learning to enunciate. You're learning to project your voice. Uh, you're really sort of finding yourself. And it makes all the difference with this vibe you got going on. Some of you, it's, it's new work opportunities. That uh, something's really got you excited and, and sort of uh, motivated. Good luck. God bless, Cappies.